<laughs> no! Holy crap! Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a little something different. You know, I'm turning into a DIY channel now. I've seen this hydro dipping trend going around YouTube where people are basically like hydro dipping their shoes, customizing different things. And I thought we'd give it a shot with some beauty <gasps> products here today. Take a look over to my left. We've got a makeup bag. It's plain, it's boring. We wanna put our own little spin on it. We're gonna hydro dip it and see how it turns out. I've never done this before. So bear with me, but I think we got this. And then we've got some makeup brushes. I love these brushes, but they're lime green. You know, I wanna make them more aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna fix that. And then we've also got some MAC lipstick bullets. You guys know MAC lipstick bullets are all plain black, but hydro dipping it will allow us to customize it to our liking. And we'll even try hydro dipping a beauty blender. We don't know what'll happen. It might make it rock solid or it might make it really cool. We'll find out. We've got some spray paint. I've got more outside, literally every color you can think of. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna be creative and think about it on the spot, customize each item and see how it goes. I've searched a few videos on how to do this. Basically what I'm getting from it is you just spray a bunch of spray paint in water and then you dip it and you swish it around a little bit. Something of that nature. And then you come out with something really cool and customized, so. That's what we're doing. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you are notified whenever I drop a new video. And without further ado, let's get into customizing these products. So I almost forgot before we actually start the video. It is my birthday in how many minutes? How many minutes time is it? It's 11.48, it's my birthday in 12 minutes. So you better subscribe and you better hit that like button because what am I doing when it's about to be my birthday? I'm filming for you guys. And I couldn't think of any better way to spend it. So let's get on with the video and happy birthday to me. She's old, it's fine, it's fine. Young at heart, young in the mind, it's all that matters. So we're first gonna hydro dip the brushes and also this case right here. But first, we gotta prep the brushes. Basically, we just wanna hydro dip the handle. We don't want any paint getting on the chrome part here or on the bristles. So what I'm gonna do is put tape around the chrome part to protect it and then we'll peel off the tape when we're done and it'll be <laughs> fresh and good as new with a new custom hand. Before we do that, we gotta kinda take off that glossy layer and this acetone right here, which is meant for like nail products, is gonna take that off really, really easy. Let's just pour some of that on the paper towel and then all we have to do is rub off the glossy top coat on the handle and you can see it's coming off already we just need to take off enough that the paint will stick we don't have to take off every little bit just the top glossy layer and that should be good enough now we're ready to put the tape on the chrome part I watched a few hydro dipping videos. I feel like I got the gist of it. I'm trying to do a marble situation. So we got three colors. We got the black, the white, and of course, silver sparkliness. Shake them up, because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do with spray paint. We got a bucket of water, pristine, ready to go. Ooh, just kidding, it's actually pretty cold. It's fine. Let's first go in with the white. Ooh, a little bit of the black. I don't know what these noises are, but it means that we're doing something right. And the prettiest one of all, sparkly silver. Oh, that looks amazing. And I'm just gonna rotate between those colors. That looks pretty good to me. I got my hair in it. No, no. Okay, crisis averted. I was able to wash it off, but that scared me. So clearly, I need to be more careful. Well, let's put the handy dandy gloves on to avoid any more catastrophes. Let's dip. So it's looking pretty sick after one dip, but there's still some lime showing. So I'm gonna try putting it in one more time. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. It's fine, we have other brushes to dip in. It's fine. All right, third time's the charm. Let's try not dropping this one in this time. Ooh, that looks sick. Now, since we're seeing that the lime green is definitely showing through, I'm gonna try and paint this one all white first. So now that the brush handle is painted white, let's see how this turns out. Yo, what? <laughs> what is this? I even got the hiccups. That's how atrocious this is. Oh my, oh my. Is this a joke? This is not what the hydro dipping video showed me. Ooh, much better. 
much better. Definitely the trick was to get some more fresh spray paint. So we still got to do the canister that holds the brushes, but I spray painted that white. We're gonna wait for that to dry and we'll come back to that after. Next is this beauty bag. I'm gonna cover up these patches with the tape and also cover up the zipper. Looks like the tape is not sticking on. I don't know what material this is. It's not doing it for me. So I'm gonna switch another product. We're gonna try and hydro dip this baby. This holds my beauty blenders usually, so it'd be nice to customize it. And the tape will definitely stick to this. But first, we gotta take off the glossy layer with the acetone. Time to hydro dip this little canister here. It created a nice striped design. Now let's get creative with the color. Next up are these MAC lipstick bullets. We're gonna customize them, but first, again, we have to get rid of the glossy layer to make sure the paint sticks to them, and then we'll have to cover up the silver with tape. And we wanna keep this part clear so we can see the lipstick name. I'm also gonna put tape over that so the paint doesn't get on there. Ready to be hydro dipped. Let's dip. dry. Let's circle back to that brush holder. Here it is. We've got the white base. And honestly, this pattern turned out sick on those MAC lipsticks. So I'm down to just go ahead and use this pattern on the canister. Let's do it. That looks so sick. Holy. Definitely doing a white base helped it out a lot. Last but not least, the beauty blender. For colors, bright neon orange, hell yeah. We'll add black and silver to that. We got the Halloween colors. And it's time to dip. That looks dope. Definitely Halloween vibes. I can't wait to see this one dry. So now we got everything marbleized, hydro dipped, it's drying. I'm gonna wait for them to dry overnight so they're fully dry. I'm honestly feeling good about it. We hit a few bumps in the at the beginning, you know, but I got the hang of it at the end of it and I'm excited to see the final results. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it is a wonderful day. Not only because we're gonna check out what's going on with the hydro dipping situation over there, but because it is now officially my birthday. Hey, look at my balloons. Look at my flowers. This one's a unicorn. These ones are pretty roses and they smell good. And you know I got that one. So we're gonna celebrate. The whole day's a celebration. Matter of fact, this whole month is my birthday celebration. If you didn't know, now you know. But let's go check out our products. I'm literally crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. Okay, okay, they've been out here all night. No coyotes came to take them away. That's good. Everything is definitely dry. We'll bring them inside, take off the tape, and have a closer look. So we got our brushes here. Let's start taking off the tape. Ooh, definitely saved the chrome. It's looking pristine. Okay, we've got a little bit of flaking from the paint situation, but overall still looking good. This one was the fail, the first one that I hydro dipped and obviously I dropped the whole thing in. So I kind of messed up the bristles a little bit, but honestly, it's still soft. It still works. I'm gonna just say it's a little customization. It's a little added flair to the bristles. No other brush is looking like this, you know? It's fine. Let's take off the tape on all the brushes and see what the set looks like. So this is what they look like with the tape taken off. The chrome was protected, so at least I did that right. I'm happy about that, it looks sick. I did notice as I was taking the tape off that the paint was kind of flaking off, which I didn't expect, because you know this is my first time and I was kind of just winging it, but to avoid that, I'm sure there's some sort of like top coat or like glossy coat that you can put on over top. If you have any suggestions on what would work for that, let me know so next time I know. But yeah, if you don't want it to flake off, I would definitely recommend finding some sort of product like that. But they're still sick if I'm using them as like kind of like a decorative piece or just leaving them on my vanity. My favorite brush is this one. This was the last one that I dipped and it's because I decided to paint the handle white before dipping it in so then none of the lime showed through. So I really got that marbleized kind of look that I was looking for. But 
honestly, the lime showing through on the other ones doesn't look totally bad either. Like it's still kind of sick, but the whole reason I wanted to hydro dip it is so then I could get rid of that lime color. So this one's my favorite. And clearly I didn't dip the whole thing in. So the bristles are still nice and soft, still would work perfectly fine. And it looks sick. Now onto the brush case. This one too, I painted white first. So we don't have any of the lime showing through. I did tape the BH logo here. So we're gonna take that off. And now we're ready to peel. Ooh, peel barn. That looks dope. Look at it, the BH logo is perfectly intact. Stands out, the marble turned out amazing on this one. And there we go, the full hydro dipped brush set with the case. Obviously you can decide on the colors that you want. You can really customize it to your liking if you don't like the colors I chose, but I just was kind of playing around with it. And I like the way it turned out. Next, we got the MAC lipstick bullets. I'm really excited about these ones. Let's take off the tape around the chrome and on the bottom. So there we go, all of the tape is off. The chrome looks good. We got the names and moment of truth to see if they all open. Ooh, and there was no paint on this chrome part, so I'm happy about that. The water didn't leak through. So it's safe to say the lipstick bullets turned out dope. I would just really recommend, again, putting some sort of top coat or something on top so then you don't get glitter on your hands. If I were to do this again, I would definitely do that because then that would lock all the paint and like glitter in and make sure it's not shedding everywhere. But overall, they still look really sick and now they're customized. Next, I'm most excited about this one. I think once we take the tape off, it's gonna look so dope. We did like a blue, white, and silver marble look here. And there we have it, my new customized beauty blender holder. Ooh a little stripe design, I like that. My only thing is, the tape left a little bit of residue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I think it's because I put acetone over top of the whole thing before putting my little tape design. So it kind of peeled away at the top layer of the glass. So I would definitely recommend doing your tape design and protecting with tape first, and then doing the acetone on all the areas that you're gonna put the paint on top that you want the paint to stick to. And then that'll prevent that situation and that little, that little oopsie. But I think it still looks sick. And I think if I took a, like a cloth or something and just tried to rub off the tape residue, it should come off just fine. And this is just better than it was before. So I'm down. And last but not least, we have the Halloween themed beauty blender. This one looks so dope. I can still squish it. I feel like I could still use it just the same. Definitely Halloween vibes. Everyone will be asking me, where'd you get that beauty blender? I've never seen that one before. I'd be like, I made it myself. <laughs> so there we have it, all my Hydro Dip beauty products. It was my first time doing this. I'm very proud of them. Although in the end, I did like how it all turned out and it was so fun to do. Honestly, I should probably stick to just makeup. I think I definitely got a little bit better with each product because I was kind of learning what worked and what didn't. The biggest tip I can give, I would definitely use some sort of protectant top coat at the very end. You live and you learn, you know? But let me know if you guys decided to hydro dip anything. Tag me in your pictures because I want to see. You could probably do a lot better than I can. But this is a really cool trend going around and I'm glad we gave it a shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please click this button right here to subscribe. And these are the other videos of mine that you have to go and watch. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>